Welcome back everyone to part three of this Illumination English lesson on controversial cars. We are going to do our knowledge check. It's a little different uh, than previous knowledge checks. I've got a dialogue here with blanks. So they are sentences with blanks in them and you have to fill in the blanks with the target vocabulary that you saw for the first time in part one in our article about controversial cars. Uh, but I just wanted to put this in a uh, dialogue form so you could see how these words could be used in context of a conversation, albeit it's a artificial <laughs> context. Mm -hmm. I mean, I made the conversation, uh, mm -hmm. I made the dialogue, so it's, yeah, um, not like actual people would be speaking, but you're going to see how how it's used okay let's get started here i have to read both parts now if you want to when you're doing this knowledge check uh you can go back and take have a friend do this with you and and your friend can be jennifer one of one of you can be jennifer and one of you can be lorenzo um this is a woman's name for those of you not familiar with English names, Jennifer is a woman's name. Lorenzo is a man's name. And this could be, uh, he could be of a Latino origin. Uh, we would say Lawrence in, in English. Okay, let's start. And when we get to these blanks, we're going to pause and see if you can remember what word is supposed to go in the blank. All right, and then we'll go into, now there are four of these slides, so this is just part one of the dialogue. It continues on. Let's start up here at the top with Jennifer. So Lorenzo, you know, I'm thinking about buying a new car, but I want to do some research first. Okay, well, what kind of car are you looking to buy? I mean, any particular make or model? No, but I definitely want something electric. Well, at least hybrid. Why? They're so... Okay, I give you a hint. <laughs> okay. They're so expensive. Do you remember the word that means that? Right, okay. Jennifer replies, yes, but they're kind of popular these days. Do you remember? We just did this in, yeah, in our previous lesson. They're trending or popular. Yes, you got it. They're all the rage right now. Okay, let's go on to our next slide. Well, that's not a good reason to buy one. I know, but you shouldn't just Okay, blank, and let's finish the sentence. Because everyone else is, that'll give you a clue. Okay, so group think. Do you remember that phrase? Right, jump on the bandwagon, because everyone else is. Okay, okay. But I've been doing my homework, comparing cars that use... Okay, this is a kind of energy that uses fossil fuels. Do you remember what that's called? That word kind of means old fashioned. Yes, conventional, mm -hmm, traditional energy forms. Okay, let's go back here. I've been, I've been doing my homework comparing cars that use conventional energy with electric cars that use more sustainable energy. And I think it's important for me to reduce the size of my... Okay, do you remember this, this expression means the amount, especially of carbon emissions that you put into the atmosphere? Yes, my carbon footprint. So Jennifer is very eco-minded. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go on. Right, I'm totally with you on that. But I'm just not sure electric cars are the answer to... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Certainly to this, uh, to this situation right now. Hmm. Are the answer... 
Aha, to decarbon. Now here we have a different word form. Here it's used decarbonizing the grid as a verb phrase. Okay, to decarbonizing the grid, right? To taking the carbon out of, yeah, out of the equation. Jennifer says, hmm, yeah, and maybe not the only way, but I want to do my part. Well, I've done some reading about EVs. That's what they call electric vehicles. And I found out the battery, hmm, I'm going to finish reading, issue is a huge minus. That means it's there's a negative side, a huge, a big, uh, a big drawback. Hmm battery hmm issue okay hmm what could that be could it be wearing out running out what do you think yes okay because the life of everything runs out or wears out over time so deterioration oh really yeah and construction of the batteries causes major natural resource right here's the running out depletion oh i've never heard about that it's not all bad though you know tesla yeah and elon musk well he's working on new battery designs to make them cleaner longer lasting and safer I heard Tesla is the only EV with a heat shield between the battery and the... Remember where the passengers sit? The passengers are people in a space, in a particular space. Yes, the occupant compartment, in case the battery overheats and catches on fire. Whoa, I had no idea! Well, I'm definitely going to do some more research before I make up my mind. I guess EVs are not all they're supposed to be or reputed to be. Remember this phrase? Cracked up to be. All right. Okay, I guess Jennifer needs to do some more research and uh, Lorenzo may help her get that car that she needs to buy. That's all for this lesson. You're finished with part three, the knowledge check. Okay. I'll see you How in How did you do lesson. on the knowledge check? Did you like the dialogue format? I think it would really be helpful for you to find a friend to practice with. Try to find somebody else who wants to improve their English. They don't even have to be in the same room with you. You can share the, the video. They can see it. You can see it. Practice with a, a remote in a kind of remote setting. But have fun with that. Okay. And practice the vocabulary. And now it's time for me to remind you to also practice this vocabulary. Keep it in your mind, right? Retain it by making your own sentences, just like we did in part two. Do you remember I started with a simple sentence and then I made a complex sentence? You try it too. You don't have to try a complex sentence if that's just out of your league. Okay, but try at least a simple sentence and type it in the comment section so that I can give you some feedback on it. Hmm? That's, as I said before, the biggest perk of these lessons is getting feedback and correction from a native speaker teacher. So please avail yourself of that opportunity and type a sentence in the comments below. Actually, you can type anything in the comments. You can actually make a comment or ask a question. Um, a anything about the videos and i would really welcome that so please do consider that before leaving this uh, lesson think about those things sentence you want to write okay maybe making a comment of some kind because comments will uh, help to sustain this channel over the long run okay that's all uh, for this lesson on controversial cars i'm again right now working on the next lesson so i will see you there keep studying keep practicing every day hopefully your vocabulary is growing over time as you work through these video lessons take care and i'll see you again soon bye for now